Hi, we're here today in Italy at Pagliarini Boatyard to show you the new Rampage 34 Express with the ISP engines in it. Let's take a look. On the new Rampage 34, on the back end of the boat or the business end, the first thing that we notice is the amount of space. There's about 70 square feet of space here for the anglers, even to fish multiple. First thing that we notice is the bait prepare station, which has a chopping board, a fresh water and a salt water wash down system. It also has got plenty of space for lures and artificials. For fighting, we also have a comfortable cushion which stops you from getting bruised. And also on the transom door, we notice there's a nice finish even on the inside, which are the particulars that Rampage really care about. All the hatches are stainless steels. The lever on the door, as you can see, it's very well sealed. There shouldn't be any water coming in from the back, even if you're backing down really hard on heavy waters. On the transom, the first thing that we notice is a nice live bait tank, which has an edge glass window, which will give you allowance to open up from the top. It's about five foot long, which gives you plenty of space, and it's also blue on the interior. It has a macerated pump, and it has also an auto fuel system on it. On the back here, we find two big cabin spaces. The first one's here, which has got a removable section to get to the back of the ISP engines. And also another fish box, which is removable and macerated at the same time. At the back here, we notice that the Rampage has put a nice sitting position with a freezer. The freezer is controlled by a 12 volt system, which has also got removable sides. There's also a fresh water wash down system and also a salt water wash down system on the side. At the back here we notice the first engine hatch, which allows to do any type of servicing on way. For any major service or maintenance, we do have an hydraulic lift which will lift up all of the engine hatch. Rampage has designed this boat specifically to fit these new motors from Volvo Penta, the ISP 600s, which as you can see, compared to the older versions of engines, take up less room, they're much smaller, and gives more space to the engine bay. Coming forward onto the boat, the first thing that we notice is the ice maker, something that all fishing boats should have. On the top here, we have a sink and a removable chopping board, which can be customised to become a hot plate. Most of the boat on the rampage can be customised to your will. On the port side, we notice there's a nice lounge chair, which doubles as a freezer. On a long trip to the fishing grounds or with the family, it's just great to have. The front seat also can turn to face the front. The freezer is controlled by a, a 240 volt and it has a control system just here to regulate your temperature. One thing you also notice on the rampage is so many grab handles. Grab handle, grab handle, grab handle, grab handles. So anywhere you move on the back of the boat, you do it nice and safe. At the helm, the first thing that we notice is that right at the centre of the boat, we have a nice adjustable seating here, which will be able to move forward and back and also rotate. There's a lot of screens. The first one here at the corner is a three kilowatt sounder. There's also the two GPS screens. All the switches are nice and low. And there's also the control system for the ISP Volvo Penta engines. The joystick drive, which is on the side, and the controls here for the standard operation. We also have a kick step here at the bottom, which will give us a nice comfortable position for driving. At the front of the boat, the first thing that we can recognise is the strong solid aluminium structure that the Rampage has. Also with the new Volvo Penta dynamic positioning system antenna on top of the roof. At the front here, the windshield, you'll recognise the three strong windshield wipers and also the nice padding up the front. 
you want to take some sun in. The rail, very strong, very durable. And as you can see, it's right at the right height, which overpasses the knee, which doesn't allow you to fall over. Windless anchor, or with stainless steel fittings, and also a little compartment for some extra rope when docking. Stepping forward into the cabin, you notice this slide panel, which opens up to give us enough space so we don't hit our head. The first thing that we notice uh, when we walk in the cabin is how much space there actually is on this 34. We've got a nice entertaining area here with the TV and also hi-fi system. The hi-fi system can also be controlled by the hand position. Over here we have a cabinet for the wet bar area and everything is finished in cherry. Over to the port side, there's a little dinette area with fridge and freezer. A two burner ceramic cooktop, a microwave oven and also a nice sink with Michelator. The whole kitchen area is also well accompanied with a lot of cupboard and storage space. Up at the bow we find